main power engaged generator field up auxiliary generator field up circuit breakers in all right we're going for primary ignition primary ignition Hey guys and gals, Homestead Prepper, and what you're looking at is some high voltage electric discharge or like uh, electromagnetic pulse. And what you're seeing is about 7,500 volts at about 30 milliamps. And what it's doing is it's ionizing the air around the electric arc, and what you're seeing is plasma, which is really no different than you know what you'd see from a welder. Pretty much the same thing, but. Um, it's, I know a lot of you are saying, well, what has this got to do with prepping? Well, uh, I'm generating some electromagnetic pulses, and I want to show you how uh, a Faraday cage works in theory. And uh, this is a homemade Jacob's Ladder, uh, one I made myself out of some uh, scrap parts. So let me, uh, well, I'll just show you what I'm going to do. Okay, guys, what I got here is an old cell phone, and let's turn it on. Make sure it works. And you see it lights up. Alright, all right, we're going to do that. It's on. We're going to wrap it in some insulated paper. And you could probably tell that my wife does all the wrapping at Christmas, not me. I'm going to put this on here like this. And we'll get a piece of tape. And, and that's not going to protect you from an EM pulse. What we're going to do is wrap it up in this stuff right here. And we'll see if that will protect this cell phone, which is on right now. And we have the insulator. And we have it wrapped up in a Faraday cage. And, uh, oh, and guys, I meant to tell you that uh, don't try this at home. Uh, this is extremely dangerous. And if you're not used to working around electricity, even if you are, high voltage kills. So uh, I don't advise anybody to try this. So what I'm going to do Just tape this to this, and this is a piece of PVC. And maybe that'll hold it on well enough. And we're going to try to electrify this. We'll see if we'll get an arc going here. And give it a little, a little boost. All right, put that in there. And see it. Uh, put it right down the middle. So anyway, we've hit it with some high voltage on both sides. So it's smoking a little bit. Oops. Well, I guess it got hot. Let me let me turn that off. And whenever I turn it off, I unplug it, so there's no chance of getting electrocuted. In case I get careless, well, let's take this thing apart here and see if it's still working. We'll see if uh, the Faraday cage out of aluminum foil will protect some electronics. I know a lot of y'all. You know, I just stick it in the microwave and use radio frequencies. I thought I'd use something a little more dramatic. Oh, look at that. It's still working. So, there you go, guys. Of course, let's, let's up the ante and let's use something a little more uh, expensive here than my wife's old cell phone. Let's turn that off. 
Okay, that's still working. All right, let me let me try something else. Okay, let's try a uh, our smartphone. Okay, this is um, an HTC. I I don't recommend anybody buy one because this one is really crappy. So we uh, we we were so offended by it, we uh, ended up just going out and getting another one. So, uh, but anyway, it'll work good for an EM pulse test here with some high energy plasma. Right, do my little Christmas wrapping job here again. Turn on there like like that. And uh, this is, uh, I know a lot of you scientists out there are cringing at my uh, methods, but, you know, this is all for the entrance of science, so. And we can have a little fun while we're doing it. I call it unconventional science. Okay, so that's insulated. I don't see any burn marks on the paper. This thing gets hot. And we're going to try, and you know what, it's been my experience with tinfoil that once you use it, it'll get little pinholes in it. So we're not going to reuse that same piece. We're going to get a brand new piece. And we're going to wrap this thing up in here. Just like this. And we wrap that like that. And let me see if I get a piece of butter tape. Yeah. Here, we'll use uh, electrical tape for this one. Doesn't look too professional, but that's right. We're, we're trying to get a result. So here we go. I got my smartphone, and we're gonna we're gonna try this thing again here. And if we blow up this phone, it's no great loss. Like I said, you have to get the gap just right to get it to, to go. So we'll put this in here. So you can see the camera up a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Get it all the way through there. Yeah, on both sides. Alright, well let's see if uh, if that did it. This thing is very touchy about working. Alright, let's take this off. I want to electrocute myself. Just like Christmas time here. We just want that hole to get caught up in that arc right there. That would be very bad. Let's take this apart here. And, ooh, it's not on. Oh, look, it's working. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope you all learned something from that. That's how a Faraday cage will protect your electronics and even something as simple as tinfoil is going to be a lot better than nothing. So, this is the Homestead Prepper out. Oh guys, I almost forgot to show you this right here, and just in case you were wondering how hot this thing is. Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, it gets pretty hot, so uh, this is uh, no joke. Okay guys, I'm going to take uh, this phone right here. It's not protected with uh, a Faraday cage and we're just going to stick it in there and I think uh, this is probably going to go off with a bang. So uh, what you want to make sure is you've got proper safety gear in case you do any of this testing which I don't recommend it so let me get seated up here
Well, there you go, guys. Went off with a bang. Now guys, I, I just gotta let you know that that last test was not for real. That was a joke. Uh, that's how I set it off. Uh, I, I will be doing some future tests if there's any interest, and I'll have some real unprotected electronics in a future video. But uh, let's see if we can just get this one to go off again. Well, there you go.